back with a new lesson, your trainer Neharika. And in today's lesson, we are going to look at some words that would help you to describe women only. Now, men love talking about women. Well, women also love talking about other women. That's more like gossiping, right? Now, what are the words that can be used to describe a woman? Now, these words here, we have around nine words which can only be used for women and not for men. So let's have a look. The first one that we have for you is bossy. Now, when you say or when you call a woman bossy, it means that she is very dominating or a little harsh and strict. So, you know, especially um, we come across women who have personality, a very dominating personality. And rather than saying that, oh, you are so dominating, or when you are just talking about her in a conversation with someone else, rather than saying that she is so dominating, you can also use this word, which is bossy. Now, remember, this is a slang term, bossy used for a woman who is dominating a little harsh or maybe a little strict so do you have a woman who is dominating or harsh or strict then you can call her bossy let's move on to another term which is bitchy Yes, women at times can be bitchy. Now, you can either use the word that she is such a bitch or you can just call her bitchy. Now, remember, this is also a slang term and it can be used only in informal English or informal environment. You can't just walk up to your lady boss and say what a bitch you are. No, you can't do that. So, bitchy is a slang term used for a woman uh, who is very mean and a little malicious. Yeah, you can call such women bitchy. So, someone or a woman who is mean or malicious. Let's move on to another term, which is bubbly. Now, who is bubbly? A woman who is very animated, always very chirpy and excited about something. Yeah, there are so many women who do have this kind of a personality, right? They are always so excited about something and just so animated about everything. Then such women can be described as bubbly. Okay, so like for example, my friend uh, Reina is such a bubbly personality. So which means she's always very excited, so chirpy and so animated. Now you cannot call a man bubbly. My friend John is so bubbly. Well, that is incorrect. It can be only used for women. Let's move on to another one, which is bimbo. Uh, I have some friends who are such bimbos. Now, bimbos, well, can be used to describe women who are beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, super hot, but without any intelligence. Yes, they are beauty without brains. So a woman who is really pretty and, uh, you know, an absolutely head turner, which means that she is so attractive, but she is unintelligent. So beauty without brains. Yeah, we do come across women who are very attractive, but not smart. So you can call such women or describe such women as bimbos. 
okay? There is another term that you can use, pretty similar to this one, for the same kind of women, that is blonde. Okay, she is such a blonde. So blonde, she's attractive, she's beautiful, she's super hot, but she's not intelligent. Let's move on to another term, which is catty. My boss is so catty. Yes, when do you use this word? Well, people think that it is used just as we use the word bitchy. Now remember, bitchy is used for a mean woman, okay, who is extremely malicious, but catty is used for women who are smart and witty and can really insult you at times, but with their smartness. So they're not very mean, they can get a little insulting at times, but they're not very mean, they're clever. So the clever, witty women can be described as catty. Now again, this is also a slang term that you can use. The next one, curvy. Now when do you use this term to describe a woman? Well, it's a very polite word that is used for fat and chubby women. Now if you spot a fat woman on the street, you're not going to say, oh, look at that fat woman. That's mean. That's so rude. Well, a good and a nice polite term that you can use is curvy. Now men cannot be curvy. Men can be round or just shapeless. You cannot call men as curvy. But yes, you can describe a woman who is a little fat and chubby or voluptuous as curvy. All right, let's move on to another word, which is frigid. Now, when do we call or describe a woman as frigid? I had a friend of mine whom I met last week and he said, you know something Naharika, my wife is very frigid. So what do you think this really means? Well, a woman who is not very sexually aroused, who is very unaffectionate, there's no passion in her, then she can be described as frigid, okay? Now maybe, yes, she is loving, but she doesn't have that passion towards her partner. She's not sexually aroused, then she can be described as frigid. So if your wife or your girlfriend is not usually sexually aroused or is very unaffectionate, or has no passion in her, then you can describe her as frigid. Let's move on to another term, which is frumpy. When do you use this word to describe a woman? Well, when you spot a woman who is dressed in a very shabby manner. Yes, at times, you know, in the mornings when I wake up, well, I'm in my night suit or maybe in these baggy pants and baggy t-shirts. So I'm not really dressed well. So if I step out of my house in these shabby clothes, then people are going to call me frumpy. Oh, Neharika, you look so frumpy. So which means that I am dressed in a very shabby way. So if you see a woman who is dressed in a very shabby or untidy manner, So if you spot a woman who is dressed in an untidy manner, then you can describe her as frumpy. Let's move on to the last word that we have for today's lesson is high maintenance. Now when do you use this for a woman? Well, a woman who only loves credit cards of her partners. Now 
Well, she is only interested in shopping, in her manicures and pedicures. She wants to travel in the best of luxurious cars. So that woman can be described as high maintenance. For example, John's girlfriend is such a high maintenance, which means that she's not really in love with John, but she's in love with his money. So she's all about shopping and going to the salons and of course roaming in the best of cars. So she is a high maintenance. So these are the nine words that you can use to describe women only. Please note that you cannot use these words to describe men. So start using them and I'll be back with a new lesson soon. Till then, you take care.